In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create that high fashion vintage look with soft light. So let's get started. Hey what's up guys, Druel here and if you want to use the same image that I used in this video, the download link is in description. So feel free to use it. So as you can see, my image is already open inside Photoshop and if you want, you can go to file and open any image from here. Now double click on your background and hit OK so it will unlock it. Then go to your adjustment layers and select gradient. Now in the gradient, uh, you can select foreground to transparent and in the uh, foreground color, you have to select black. You can go here and change the color to the black. And after that, uh, in the linear, uh, make it uh, radial, so it will make it round. And then uh, since it's in center, we want it on outside, so reverse it. Then uh, let's make the scale slightly bigger, uh, like that. Uh, that seems fine. And make it slightly on this side, because this side we want a bit darker. Uh, and we want her into focus. So uh, hit OK. And then change the blending mode to soft light. So if you turn it on and off, you can see the output. Now I want this thing to be even more powerful. Select a gradient and press Ctrl J. So it will duplicate it and make it even more darker. Now after that, we'll go to our adjustment layer and select levels. Now we need to adjust a bit of midtones, make them brighter like this. Uh, maybe a touch more. You can take it further as much as you like. And that seems fine to me. And after that, I'm gonna make it also a bit darker. So uh, that seems fine and if I turn it on and off you can see the difference so as you can see it makes it look even better After that go to adjustments and again select the vibrance in the end We are going to apply a lot of soft light So we need to make sure that we do not lose the colors So make the vibrance hundred percent and if I turn it on and off you can see that it makes a lot of difference And even by at this point it looks really good than the original output now we need to add some yellow toning in the image so for that I'm gonna use uh, where is it color balance and in the color balance make sure you do not have uh, this option ticked and then uh, go to your shadows and add a bit of a red so that seems fine and also add a bit of a yellow so that looks okay and after that go to your highlights and uh, add a bit of a cyan don't make it stronger and also add a bunch of yellow uh, it might seem really crazy right now, but I will show you why am I doing this. So if you turn it on and off, you can see it has added a lot of yellow in the highlights. Now it is time to add that popular haze that everyone loves. So go and select a solid color and in the solid make it uh, a bit uh, something like this. Uh, close to darker maybe, yeah, that seems fine. Hit OK and then change the blending mode to exclusion. So if you turn it on and off, you can see the difference, but we do not want on her face or body. So select her mask here, get a brush tool and make sure it is black color and paint on her. So we will remove it from her because uh, that will make her in focus and everything else in haze. So as you can see the difference, it already looks really awesome. Now it is time to add that really beautiful soft light so for that create a new blank layer and instead of this black color uh, select a color that is sort of yellow so that seems fine to me and you can change it anytime you want so hit ok and then make a brush really big like this and then make a click uh, and another click and then change the blending mode to screen so if I turn it on and off you can see and now you can press ctrl T and transform it anyhow you want so that makes it look even better uh, like this a bit on the dress and then stretch it even little more like that hit enter and now if you turn it on and off you can see the difference and you can also create another layer and paint it again like that and then change the blend mode to screen so if I turn it on and off you can see the difference and that seems uh, really awesome uh, make sure you do not do it too much and after that the final step create another layer and this time select curves and in the curves go to your blue channel and start adding bunch of blue so that's a lot of blue and then once you uh, reach a certain amount like when you think it's enough uh, add a bit of yellow and make this point a little on top so it doesn't have to be exactly how I did but you can uh, follow this sort of because every image is different and every image needs different treatment. So that seems fine to me and if I turn it on and off you can see the difference. 
so let's see the original one and let's see the final one so let's zoom in like this and let's see the original and the edited one so this can be really handy and it doesn't even take a lot of time you can record the action so that's it for today and if you have any questions regarding this video ask me in the comments and also if you really learn something hit that like button it will help my video a lot now if you want to learn more soft light effect like this uh, you can click one on the left to learn how to do it on natural environment or you can click the one on the right to learn how to do it on close up shots and you can also subscribe to my channel so you can get update every time I upload a new video plus you can go to my channel and check out more than 50 free photoshop tutorials so till then goodbye take care and have some fun with photoshop